Well, good morning. We'll begin in a moment. Uh, welcome, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, I just wanted to um, welcome you. We're going to have uh, Bob do our readings, continuing our way through the complicated book of Leviticus and continuing with some Matthew. We are going to have a piece of music. I think Cookie sent it to me. The UK Blessing. Is that true? Did you send that to me, Cookie? I don't think I did. Somebody did. Anyway. Uh, oh, Linda Murkison did. And uh, it's great. We're going to have it at the end. It's uh, a minute or two longer than we usually do. So if you need to bail out um, while it's going on, um, feel free. But uh, we'll have that after the great Thanksgiving. And uh, we'll begin in just a minute. Mm -hmm. We've got Florence Ellen and Kim and St. Cheryl <laughs> and Anne and Betty. Got the whole crowd here. We can yeah. almost stop oh, at 8 o'clock. We can start. I, actually, Jay, I was just going to say one thing uh, before I slip my line. Is that every time you say mute, I think of the video that we you showed last week, I think, of Saturday Night Live. Uh -huh. of, uh, of, of the poor, uh, of, of the poor minister trying to get everybody to to mute. You know. Do you think of it in a good way, Bob? I do, actually. Oh, okay. You know, I, I kind of want to laugh. Think, but. I think of the mother yelling at her kids <laughs> because that would have oh, been me. I got, a, I got a special treat for you all. <laughs> no, just here. Oh, the baby. Oh. Oh, my oh. God. Hey! And how did that happen? <laughs> Look at you! This is not my child. I just want you to know. <laughs> sure. This is uh, Reed, Reed Sidebotham, and it's his first birthday today. Happy oh, birthday. Birthday. birthday! Oh, what an angel. We give thanks for him. Oh, He's enjoying sure one prayer so far. Right? right? And so happy. So happy. Yeah. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Back to Jesus. Back to Jesus. Here we go. Thank you. We begin with the interactive part. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen, Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. At page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry. We humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, mercy on us and forgive us. We may write in your will, in your ways, in the of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. At page 80, Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll read the Hallelujah. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 106, verses 1 through 18. I am out of town, and I'm away from a prayer book with the right page number. I have a different book, so I don't know. Page 741. 741, thank you. Psalm 106, verses 1 through 18. 
pausing or breaking at the uh, asterisk. Hallelujah, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. forever. <clears throat> to declare the mighty acts of the Lord. And show forth all his praise. His praise. His praise. Happy are those who act with justice. And always, always do, do what, what is right. right. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have for your people. And visit, and visit me with your saving help. 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 That I may see the prosperity of your elect and be glad with the gladness of your people. That I may, I may glory, glory with your, your inheritance. inheritance. <clears throat> we have sinned as our forebears did. We, we have, have done wrong and dealt wickedly. In Egypt, they did not consider your marvelous work nor remember the abundance of your love. They defied the Most High at the, 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 the Red Sea. But he saved them for his name's sake. To, to make, make his, his power known. He rebuked the Red Sea and it dried up. And, and he, he led, led them through the deep east through the desert. 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 He saved them from the hand of those who hated them. And redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The, enemy. the waters covered their oppressors. No one, uh, one of them was, was left. left. Then they believed his words. And sang his songs, his songs of praise. praise. But they soon forgot his deeds. And they did not wait for his, his counsel. counsel. Craving seized them in the wilderness. And they put God to the test in the desert. He gave them what they asked. Sentlessness into their soul. They envied Moses in the camp. And Aaron, the Holy One, were the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed Dathan. And covered the company of Abraham. Fire blazed up against their company. And flames devoured with wicked. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Spirit, Spirit. As, it as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, and will be forever. Amen. We'll turn it over to Bob for uh, the reading of the lessons. We invite you, if you'd like, to mute for the next bit of time. The first reading is from Leviticus chapter 23, verses 1 through 22. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, These are the appointed festivals of the Lord that you shall proclaim as holy convocations, my appointed festivals. For six days shall work shall be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of complete rest, holy convocation. You shall do no work. It is a Sabbath to the Lord throughout your settlements. These are the appointed festivals of the, of the Lord the holy convocations, which you shall celebrate at the time appointed for them. In the first month, on the 14th day of the month, at twilight, there should be a Passover offering to the Lord. And on the 15th day of the same month is the festival of unleavened bread to, to the Lord. For seven days, you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupations. For seven days you shall present the Lord's offerings by fire. On the seventh day there shall be holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupations. The Lord spoke to Moses. Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, when you, when you enter the land that I am giving you and you reap its harvest, you shall bring the sheaf for the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. He shall raise the sheaf before the Lord so that you may find acceptance. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall raise it. On the day when you raise the sheaf, you shall offer a lamb a year old, without blemish, as a burnt offering to the Lord. And for a grain offering, with it shall be two tenths of an epith of choice flour mixed with oil, an offering of fire, pleasing odor to the Lord. And the drink offering, which shall be of wine, one-fourth of a hen. You shall eat no bread or parched grain or fresh ears until that very day, until you have brought the offering of your God. It is a statute forever throughout your generations in all your settlements. And from the day after the Sabbath, 
from the day on which you bring the sheaf of elevation offering, you shall count seven weeks. They shall be complete. You shall count until the day after the seventh Sabbath, 50 days. Then you shall present an offering of new grain to the Lord. You shall bring from your settlements two loaves of bread as an elevation offering, each made of two tenths of an ebeth. They shall be of choice flour, baked with leaven as first fruits of the Lord, to the Lord. You shall present the bread with seven lambs a year old without a blemish, one young bull, two young two rams, and they shall be burnt offerings to the Lord. Along with their grain offering and their drink offerings, an offering by fire of pleasing odor to the Lord. You shall offer, also offer one male goat for sin offering and two male lambs, a year old, as a sacrifice of well-being. The priest shall raise them before, with the bread of the fruits of the elevation offering before the Lord, together with the two lambs, and they shall, <clears throat> they shall be holy to the Lord for the priest. On the same day you shall make a proclamation. You shall hold a holy convocation. You shall not work at your occupations. This is a statute forever in all your settlements throughout your generations. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the alien. I am the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Jenny, can I impose on you to read the second song of Isaiah? It is at page 86. Yes. <clears throat> Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion and to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading, please. Second reading is from Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 12. Do not judge so that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you make, <clears throat> for the judgment you make, you will be judged. And the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see a speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, let me take the speck out of your eye while the log is in your own eye? You hypocrite, for the first First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. Do not give what is holy to dogs, and do not throw your pearls before swine, or they will trample them under your foot and turn and maul you. Ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give it a stone? Or if a child asks for a fish, will you give it a snake? And if then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how many more will your Father in heaven give you for, for those who ask him? And everything do to others as you would have them do unto you. For this is the law and the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just fun fact, that reading from the Sermon on Mount is where we find the golden rule, which is a principle not only in Christianity, but in just about every other uh, major religion on the globe. 
Um, we'll continue with the Apostles' Creed. It's found at page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with our prayers at page 97. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will, will be done, as it is on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. And the power, and the, power glory. and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with, with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving, saving health among all nations. <clears throat> Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor, the be, poor taken be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, sustain us, us with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. We pray for our church in this time of transition. Almighty God, you know the needs of your church in every place. Look graciously upon the people of St. James and grant us the guidance of your Holy Spirit as we move through the search process for a new rector. We thank you for the faithful stewards you have provided and will provide for our leadership. We thank you for those who have agreed to serve on the search committee and pray blessing on their endeavors. We pray for our new rector, whoever and wherever he or she may be, be preparing that person for ministry among us. Meanwhile, give us discernment, wisdom, patience, and confidence in your timing. Help us to care for each other with mutual trust, respect, kindness, and clarity of purpose. You are the good shepherd, and we ask you to shepherd us throughout this journey. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and we pray for our world and the church in a time of pandemic and health crisis, beginning with prayers for the church, that we may not grow weary of proclaiming the gospel of Christ, that we may serve as a beacon of hope to a suffering world. Remembering Michael, our presiding bishop, Rob, our bishop, Pierce, our interim rector for clergy and staff and wardens and vestry and all who minister in your name. Lord, in your mercy, we're all affected by the virus around the world and the leaders of nations that they may work together for the common good as the outbreak spreads. May public officials and government in, in, uh, in go may public health and government officials be granted strength and the will to act swiftly and decisively with wisdom and compassion in service to all. We pray for our president and the administration, for Congress and governors and mayors and all elected officials. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they have access to medical care and regain strength and health. Grant them your healing grace. Give strength to all who care for loved ones. We pray in thanksgiving for healthcare workers who with hearts of service stand on the front lines of providing care. Grant them courage and protection as they put the needs of public safety before their own. 
We pray for scientists and researchers around the world as they combat the virus. Bless them in their work that it may yield knowledge to develop a vaccine treatments and improve measures to reduce the spread of the virus. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Yeah. We pray for the safety and well-being of those who travel and those who remain quarantined. Remove the presence of fear and anxiety from our hearts that confident in your providence, we may be generous in sharing our resources. Grant that our churches and communities of faith may reflect your love as they minister to the most vulnerable among us. Fill them with your Holy Spirit as we work to be a healing hands and feet to all in need. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And we pray especially for those who have already lost loved ones to the virus and those who will yet suffer such loss, that they may know the consolation of your love. We pray for all who've died in the hope of the resurrection, those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints, they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Our prayer. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick. Lift up all who are brought low that we may find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 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 And we pray now for those known to us in need of God's healing power. And as I mentioned these names, I invite you to add others in the chat column or to say them aloud in a moment. We pray today, especially for Bill Hale, who will be undergoing surgery this morning. For Adrian Jackson, for Eden Booty Baldrich, Amy McComb, Max, Beth, John, Terry, Tim Doles, Joe and Fred, Bo Butler, the Romer family, Janice Smith, for Jen Hawfield and those traveling to see her in her last days, for Wright and Eileen, Kendall and his grandfather Bill, for Larry Jenks, for Hunter Cluis, for Scott and his wife, Michael and Martin. There are others we wish to name now. Pray. For the folks in Mecklenburg County where there's been an outbreak of coronavirus. For the family of Dolores in Staten Island, may she rest, uh, may Dolores rest in peace. <laughs> Wonder if there are any Thanksgivings we wish to offer this morning. For Reed's birthday. Exactly. Yes. It's Friday. <laughs> Friday. For for my grandson who graduated from high school on June the first, the town just posted a big banner at each end of the street with the pictures of all the seniors. Oh. I'd like to give thanks to you, Jay, for all the service that you've given us for the past seven years uh, and for continued service going forward. Thank you. Amen. 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 I want to give thanks for um, neighbors that get together and enjoy good music and good friendship. It's Barbara. Yeah, it is on the left. Let's sum up our prayers. I'll read the general thanksgiving. It's at page 101. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy see him. Servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, for the hope of glory. And we pray give us such an awareness of your mercies 
that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James Parish and other congregations represented here. Although at this time we're apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy, and above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now, Aaron is going to play a YouTube. It came to me from Linda Merkison. It is a blessing. Um, it's a minute or two longer than the usual music we have. So if you need to bail, that's the, one of the benefits of meeting by Zoom. Um, you can leave without making a fuss. Um, but it's beautiful. And it's churches all around the United Kingdom uh, singing a blessing. And I, I loved it. So I thought um, I'd share it with you. Greetings, please. Manna rain down from heaven. This isn't second guessing. We know that we are protected. May the peace that surpasses all understanding be our message. 
Grace and favors in your nature, in your essence. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and the children and the children. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and the children. Bless the Lord. Thank you, God. God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Awesome weekend. We won't meet tomorrow and Sunday. You can tune in and hear an excellent peer sermon. And then we'll gather again on Monday. If anybody wants to uh, be a reader, let me know. And have a good week. Anytime. Any, any time have a ready. Okay. God have bless. A happy okay. birthday. Celebrate. Happy birthday to read. Thank yes. you. I'll tell him. <laughs> He'll remember it. Yeah. He it's really these first birthdays, I think, for the parents. Yes, yeah. for sure. Exactly. And the grandparents. Well, that's true too. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Blessings. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.